Hi everyone, welcome to SoccerNumber10.com. It's me, your man, Uncle Dennis. And in this video, I would like to talk with you about coming 20, mm, 2014 World Cup. We are hoping that there will be many new sightings for great number 10s and many players getting um, picked for international teams and so forth. Now, soccer it's losing its its, 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 its its flavor in society and the reason for this is that the last real number 10 we have has been Diego Maradona ever since Pele left the scene with his gracious play Ore and so forth we have yet to see a number 10 step forward and help lift the standard back to the game and it has been a dying breed for number 10 a dying race for number 10s I hope and trust within the the next generation which is our goal at soccernumber10.com to help to revitalize this desire within players who want to to restore back the true image of the number 10 player. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Dennis Lee, author, private consultant, and private soccer number 10 coach. Now, we in the soccer industry need to see a number 10 step forward. In 2010, we saw Messi, who should have led us into the glory of the number 10 era, failed. And Diego Furlan, uh, I, I think that guy that played rocket tennis or so forth, stepped into the arena and helped to redeem back the number 10. Ronaldinho should have been there to actually help to assist and redeem back himself into the limelight. But we are yet to see a number 10 to come forward to help restore back soccer to the rightful image that it has been. Diego Maradona did it. Zico have done it. When he led the beautiful team, the most artful team ever, in most team, the team with the most compact, the most coordinated ball flow, everything. The 1982 Brazilian team, Zico, soccer team, that was the perfect team. But it got too conceited, and Rossi, I think, uh, uh, helped knock that, well, that the winning team out of the game. Broke my heart. But yet, still, Zico still Matt played his role. Maradona came back in 86 and gave us something that the world has never seen before. Zinedine Zidane tried, tried. We need a number 10 to step forward. Without even trying to pitch you of this unusual product, we came out with this product once, how to develop the mindset of the soccer number 10. Countless members worldwide have said they've noticed a new change in their style and they're, they're more a better understanding of their perception as a number 10 and their roles. We need a number 10 to step forward and lead their teams to victory. If you don't know your role as a number 10, if you forget who we are, Read the creed of the soccer number 10 at soccernumber10.com forward slash creed. Sometimes you might act unusual. Sometimes you might act unknowing who you really are. Don't play small because you're afraid of being a number 10. Right? Don't do that. A greatest fear. It's not that we're inadequate, or our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. 
our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. If you forget who you are, shoot me an email on soccernumber10.com. Ask questions, listen to the autos, get back your mind to tune, and go out there and lead your teams to victory. I hope and trust this help. Stop being a pawn when you are a king. The number 10 is the leader. The number 10 is the king of the game. Whether you like it or not, it's the truth. Or else we would not be in the position to lead. So when you are leading, lead honorably and lead your team to victory. Win or lose, read the creed of the soccer number 10.com. It's me, your man, Uncle Dennis. It was nice talking with you.